I think it's safe to assume Brad Pitt really enjoys the idea of killing Nazi soldiers. We in the killing Nazi business. And cousin, business is uh, booming. I had the best gunner in the entire 9th Army in that seat. Now I got you. Pitt's Fury takes the top spot at the box office this weekend, bringing in an estimated $23.5 million and keeping 9 out of 10 moviegoers on the edge of their seat. And while critics seem to be split over how well or not so well the characters are fleshed out, no one doubts Fury's authentic visuals and the authentic message that war is hell. Forbes writes, there is strong action filmmaking to be found here, and at no point do any of the filmmakers remotely glamorize or sensationalize its war violence. There are tons of war movies, especially movies about World War II, and unfortunately, Fury doesn't necessarily set itself apart. Fury's a mixed bag. It's more good than bad, but the thing about World War II movies is we've seen so many of them that they need to have a really distinctive refresh angle to kind of grab our attention. Next up, Gone Girl has another solid weekend. I finally realized I am frightened of my own husband. Gone Girl takes the number two spot and remains red hot with an estimated 17.8 million in its third weekend. Distributor 20th Century Fox says the reason for the sustained success is nobody wants to be left out. It's one of those movies that it's so provocative that if you haven't seen it yet, you have to in order to be a part of the conversation. Hey girl. Oh. Get that a lot. Lastly, the animated family flick, The Book of Life, is right behind Gone Girl, bringing in an estimated $17 million on its opening weekend and receiving a solid rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Once we actually saw the world of the dead, it's just beautiful. Yeah. The Book of Life receives major points for its spectacular visuals, as well as bringing the Mexican holiday Dia de los Muertos into the American mainstream. A writer for HitFix explains, what I like most about the Book of Life is the way it uses culture as a springboard into storytelling. That tradition is what the film celebrates. As for next week, Keanu Reeves makes his bid for the surprisingly competitive Old Action Star Award. People keep asking if I'm back. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. For Newsy, I'm Jamal Andrews.